This is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery and I have a 14 by 14 inch canvas that I gave a, a layer of mead and white paint with Floetrol and GAC 800 in earlier and I tried to decide to not use a layer of it again but I, it, it didn't work. So I'm going to work on top of a new wet layer of paint. A fairly copious one. And I'm going to use all gold, I think, so far anyway. Out of the gate, that's my first idea. All gold. And black cell activator, and maybe white cell activator too. This is an OXO omelet turning flip and fold spatula from Good Grips, and it is the spatula I discovered that everyone uses that you've seen. Best paint spreading tool I know of and available on my Amazon link. Should you happen to want one, I, I like want more than one. And it's lasted years, even though I use a scrubby on it to get the paint off in water. I soak them in water. Uh, it's lasted a long time without any defects. I mean, a long time, like four years plus. Of course, after a couple years, I had more than one. I had at least one person say they didn't like it and gave me theirs. It may be an acquired skill. I don't know. I seem to have had the ability to use it to begin with. I see a little bit of canvas right there. And I'd like this to stay wet. So I'm really tempted to put a little tiny bit more that I don't spread around. Which could be dangerous. Also, I'm going to break my protocols. I'm using color up products. I'm using primary elements and, and uh, prism pores. And I have some DecoArt Americana 24 karat gold that's been sitting unused since I started using color art. And since I want to do all golds, this is what I want to do. I want to use some of that. I don't know what that is. That looks like something shouldn't be there. So I'm going to start out with some solar flare. And I'm not going to cover these. Well, I didn't think I was going to layer them over each other because I don't think that the difference... I think they're more likely to blend than almost any color. But I'll try it both ways and we'll see. Then I've got Mayan gold, which is my usual gold, go-to gold, which is very, very similar to the Decor de Americana 24 karat gold and dries really beautifully. Now, if this turns out to be just too plain for me, I'm going to do, I'll, I'll add some colors. I may add some colored cell activator. This is shiny taffeta. I'm not sure where I'm going to go with this. Um, up until a moment ago, I hadn't really decided what swipe tool I was using. Actually, I haven't decided yet, but they're all next to me. This is some Misty Veil. Whoa. This was some Misty Veil. And that was some Floetrol that I got from not shaking it. Which probably wouldn't hurt anything at all. But I'd prefer it wasn't there. So the more, the deeper the layer of colors, the more likely I am to get large cells. So adding a few things like French silk and mother of pearl and even some Chantilly lace are likely. It's time to make some more French silk. I use Vivid Polypore and Vivid Enamel to mix all my paints, but there are variations on that theme. If you don't have them, you could use, instead of Vivid Enamel, you could use the Deep Base untinted paint from, oh, I don't know, wherever you buy your paint, your house paint. The French silk has got a wonderful shimmer. I referred to it as buttercream before. I may go in all directions. This is the Chantilly Lace, which is very sparkly. And I'd like it if it were totally open. 
than I thought it was, and then I went to pull the plug out, and I think I jammed it right in there. Let me grab my tweezers for a moment and free that tip. It's a little better than it was. It's still being a problem child. I don't want to take it all the way out. So I'm just going to put that all over. Because I don't think it's going to hurt anything. And then I had some other pearl. And I might go back one more time. Actually, I made a new color. I made a primary elements pigment powder color. And I'm going to add a little bit of ginger, ginger peach. Which is going to definitely change up what's going on here. I need at least five of those. I have other things, but I'm not going to use them. I am going to get rid of that paint on my spatula before it dries on. I'll just grab a new spatula, in fact. So, I am going to... I really like that ginger peach. I'm going to put some of it down here, too. It's a beautiful color. And I should start out with just the black because that's really where I wanted to go. And I want to go this way, so I'm going to put it on the blade here. I have a heavier batch of this and maybe I want to use it. Maybe I'll just use my... I don't know what to call this plate. I like to let the excess run off so I can come back and use it again. I'm really tempted. I have some of that heavier black and that's what I'm going to do. And once I get more of this swiped out, I think I'm going to tip too. I'm going to, I'm going to scrape this off in my scrape dish because you never know when that extra paint might come in handy. And I'm not looking, it doesn't look like I have a whole lot of this and it doesn't look a lot thicker actually. I'm going to take my excess and put it right there, too. Pick up my cast off. And now I want to use... Oop. Now I want to use the palette knife. I didn't put any white in there. And I thought I might want to layer it, but I don't right right now. And I, at this point in time, I usually like to have a card handy. And the card makes marks very nicely, so... I think I'm going to do something rogue and go for the other end here. Start here. Work my way up. Maybe I'll try it with the palette knife. Making marks. I don't mind that. I love what the ginger peach did though. It's subtle. It's beautiful actually. Looks like I had a lot more cell activator left on my palette knife than I knew I did. And that's okay because I like I like that kind of surprise. That was for anybody who doesn't know, that's my airbrush that is demanding my attention and I should actually pay attention to one of these days. Either use it or shut it off. So I'm loving this and I'm going to torch. I'm going to take a little bit more cell activator, I think. Maybe just what's on the tip there. I 
I like the little bit of white that's showing in there. I think this would make a beautiful tree trunk. Oh, I'm not unhappy that I put that misty veil in there at all. I like the little bits of the gray and I love all the different shades of white. Now I did not put a card in there, but I have an acetate tool that I sometimes will use to create lines or swipe with. That's a bubble I can have can make that go away. They look so organic. They look beautiful and amber-like. Take my excess and rub it. These little acetate tools are great for covering the edges of things. If I don't include a link in, underneath the video, you should ask me because there are... If you go to my playlist called that has tools in the title and put it in the search box, you'll come up with the tools. I'm just liking this a lot, like a whole lot, and I'm usually not done this quick, and I'm usually thinking about spirals and stuff, but I don't actually want any, I just like it the way it is. I say that and then you watch me, <laughs> you watch me do whatever, it just, it's over too quick. I'll just keep covering my edges for a while. Show that to you. That's beautiful. I love, I love those, not, those very neutral colors. Can't talk, but very neutral colors. It won't be that hard to cover the edges. And I, when I see something I need to fix, I'm going to steal a little paint right there. I keep turning it off because I keep finding things that I want to do. And I don't probably need to do anything. But I love it reminds me of um, the patina of wood that's decaying. It really does make me think I'm going to do a tree like this. That would be very cool. I would like that. And now I will torch. And tell you guys that if you're interested in more videos, I have 2,600 of them. And you can find them by going to my channel and playlists and all playlists, created playlists. Or you can ask me because I've got them saved by topic and genre and by the hundred. A few little waggles never hurt anything. I can't believe I don't think I need spirals in this. Honestly, it's weird. I would like to pull some of the color over the top. And match it afterwards. That really floats my boat. This is also a possible color scheme for doing layers of landscape. And I think that might be even next. I can definitely see that happening. This could even be trees and those could be roots. Well, sort of anyway. <laughs> That's a thought. I love all those little cells. I love you guys, too. Thank you for inspiring the heck out of me. I hope you come again. I post at 3.15 Eastern Standard Time, seven days a week. At least for now, I do. Could change. You never know. What do I need to tell you? Please give me a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. I'm going to try and make a moment, take a moment to shimmer this at you, assuming that it will shimmer. Oh, look at that. That's gorgeous. Wow. Hopefully I'm in the right position. That's a beauty. Love those neutral colors. That ginger peach is the peach. <laughs> so, what can I tell you guys? I asked for thumbs up. Please share my videos and when you like them, you help me out. When you leave comments, you help me out. Your comments could boost my morale, by the way, so thank you very much for that. i got that weird little round spot, but it's also kind of cute. 
like a hole. <laughs> I'm going to leave it alone. I thought I wasn't. I want to just do this again in the landscape with the blue sky and uh, maybe put some trees up. That would be pretty cool. Maybe little trees the first time. That's really nice. Let's see if I can get. So, I think it doesn't need, wow, it could go sideways too, I think. Can I tell you, Teespring clothing uh, is underneath the video. It's spring clothing, actually, not Teespring. And it means that uh, if you, whatever you find there, if you can't find what you're looking for, you can always ask me to add something. Same with Pixels.com and Fine Art America. Same with Society6 sometimes. And uh, Legalerist clothing made in Montreal, which is designer quality and not inexpensive, but well worth it if you're... If you're a fashionista, you need to check my stuff out because I've got some of my prettiest patterns there. And it's time to add some more, and maybe this is going to be one of them. I think this ought to be there. Really, I do. There's my place for my spiral right here. Just one little tiny, two little tiny. Oh, she's off and running. I think one was enough. So I love you guys. I hope you take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Check on my Amazon link and if you shop there it's know what it cost you and you'll find my two books because I can on unlimited possibilities. The first and the second 100 videos I made for YouTube. All the tools, processes, paints, everything you need to know to try it yourself. And um, whatever I forgot to tell you is I do sell my artwork and I give lessons at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. And my email address is EASPB in the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com. I will be looking for a few I'll be looking for any bubbles and piercing them with a skewer. All right, you guys, I think I told you take care of each other, take care of yourselves, and that I love you, but I'll tell you again, and I'll see you anon. Bye for now. Priscilla out.